Hi everyone, this is Lucky Loremaster, and here we are with another World of Tanks feature video. This one is going to feature the Sexton 1, a British Tier 3 gold self-propelled gun. Let's uh, learn a little bit about it, shall we? Alright, the Sexton Elite SPG Tier 3. In 1943, the Montreal Locomotive Works started mass production of the Sexton SPG, developing, uh, developed on the basis of the Ram 2. A total of 2,150 vehicles were produced by 1945, of which 125 were designated as Sexton 1. This is a very powerful little self-propelled gun. Here, let's take a look at its uh, equipment here. It's got uh, an 87mm uh, uh, cannon that can has reasonable accuracy. A reasonable aiming time and uh, hits very hard for a tier 3 280 damage per high explosive shell and 180 for either AP or uh, the premium heat rounds so uh, it is uh, quite strong decent radio decent tracks decent engine nothing terribly out of the ordinary there so let's go back to the uh, main screen or the text screen there or Oh, uh, let's just go to the garage, because that's what actually makes sense. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's see. I think that you can actually get this tank for... How much was it for this little gold uh, SPG? I think you can get it for... I think it should say how much it costs. Um, yeah, 1250 gold. Which, uh, in this game, I think comes out to, gosh, not much, you know, maybe f five, six, seven Euro euros? I, I don't know exactly, I'd have to look it up, but it's not that much. Anyway, and it's a lot of fun to play, it, and it's good at earning credits. I mean, it's obviously not as good as the, the higher tier, more expensive tanks, but it's still a lot of fun to play, and so let's take it out. Now, we're on game version 8.8 .8, and they just introduced the new feature in the game that means uh, where all of your tank crews will speak in their native languages. So if you're playing a German tank like this one that we did before, they'll all speak in German. If you're you know, an American tank, they'll speak in uh, American English and uh, so on and so forth. Now, one thing that's particularly interesting about this is that, uh, well, we all know that the uh, the Americans and uh, the Britons, they share a common language, uh, which would be English, of course, for those of you who aren't aware of this. And uh, <laughs> what uh, is rather peculiar is it seems the designers of uh, at Wargaming thought that American English and British English was practically the same. In fact, so similar, you might say that they kept the American voice acting for the game and used them still in the British tanks, which frankly is just a little bit absurd. And so I decided to tell a little story about that. Alright, we're gonna say that our uh, our tank's commander here, our little self-propelled gun's commander, his name is Sergeant Dale Dent. Now Dale Dent is, you know, the name he goes by. His real name is Gomer Pyle! And alright, what we're going to do, everybody, we're going to take this little sexton out to the front. We're going to blow up some enemy tanks. For those of you not aware, Gomer Pyle, the U.S. Marine Corps, was a television show back in the United States in the 1960s. Now, what he would do, he would do all kinds of silly stuff, and he'd always be joking with his friend, Sergeant Carter. And man, it was so much fun, and it was so funny. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that Gomer Pyle here, he was in the U.S. Marine Corps, but then, all of a sudden, World War II happened. And so what he decided to do was go on over here and volunteer to fight in the British Army. And they figured, why not, you know, I mean, you gotta help out our friends and allies overseas, so why not go about doing that? Alright, so what he decided to do is get himself in a tank division, and they ended up putting him in charge of one of these here tank destroyers. Well, he thought it was a tank destroyer, but it turns out it's actually a self-propelled gun. You see, he was starting to drive up to the front there trying to fight the enemy, and realized that might be kind of dumb. He doesn't really have much armor, only about 50 millimeters at the front, and so he figured, you know, that might not be very safe. Get too close to the enemy. 
All right, so here we are. All right, he's going. He's at the front here. He's fighting. He's fighting the Nazis. Or it looks at. Well, it's kind of weird because the Nazis are driving American tanks this time. I'm not really sure why they're doing that. They also have French tanks and Russian tanks. I don't know. I guess the Nazis were so ashamed of their own tanks that they decided to drive everybody else's tanks instead. I mean, that's that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, so here we are. We're we're here. We're gonna aim at them. Where to go? I, I don't know where they go. They they are over here somewhere. See, Gomer Pyle, He's got a he's got a bit of a problem. You know, his eyes ain't too good. You know, and he he's a smart feller, but he ain't had that much education. So uh, you know, he's got to make the best of it. Now, how he managed to become a senior NCO in the British Army is another story, but, you know, we're not going to get into that. We're just going to try to find the enemy and shoot at him with our 87mm gun, and hopefully we're going to blow him up. Alright, well, it doesn't look like there's too much going on here, except the enemy is capping the flag. Now, that's a problem, because if the enemy caps the flag, then we can't win the game. And if we don't win the game, then we don't win the war. And if we don't win the war, that means Germany wins the war. And if Germany wins the war, well, hell, Germany ain't gonna win the war, because everybody's fighting the Germans. You know, so we'll be alright. It's all about whether they stop that cap, though. Alright, so let's all drive all our uh, self-propelled gun down there. Let's see if we can stop them. Alright, there's a Stug over there, and there's an AT-2. Oh man, they're even using our own British equipment against us. Man, what would the Queen say? I imagine she'd be so upset. Well, hey, pardon me, not the Queen, because this is back during WW2. This is actually, uh, uh, would be King George. That's right, King George. Check your history books, everyone. King George. Not Queen Elizabeth, but King George. You heard me. Oh, damn. All right, well, the enemy's trying to get us. I better back off a bit. Uh, holy crap, man. I didn't know I'd be saying the tank destroyer. Oh, shit, I just got shot. That hurt, man. That hurt. I shot back and... Oh, shoot. I just blew up. Now, you might be thinking, Gomer, what are you doing? You've got a self-propelled gun. Why are you going forward and attacking the enemy like you think you're a tank destroyer? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Gomer is a team player, and he wanted to stop the enemy from winning the base and capping and winning the match and you know what that's just what gomer did now gomer sure he didn't do that much damage and sure gomer might have got him and his fellas there blown up but they saved the cap with the help of his team he contributed and that's what's important i tell you what all right so there we go we got a little stug left and there's a gorilla and other stuff so I imagine we're going to be doing pretty good. Yep, there it goes, there it goes. All that's left is that one little gorilla there on the map. Heading over on there to the S-35CA. That's a... I think that's some kind of tank destroyer. Yeah, it's got a big gun proper, and it kind of looks like a giant bathtub. You know, I imagine people could go swimming. But, you know, I mean, it seems to work pretty good, though. Uh, Gomer's kind of thinking, well, maybe I should have taken one of them instead. But, hey, you know, the, the king... Came along and he said, Gomer, you're a smart feller and you're a brave feller and you volunteered to be a sergeant in the British Army. And so because of that, because of your heroism, we're going to take you, put you right on back there in your sexton. Now you just going to get on back there, you're going to get at the enemy, you're going to blow up them Germans, you're going to win the war. Now don't, don't, don't mind, Gomer, that, uh, you know, you got a bunch of tanks on the, the Nazi team. That, you know, you got the British tanks and the French tanks, they're all, they're all Nazis in them. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry. Everything's good. Don't gotta worry about the morality and nothing. Alright, so here we go. Right now we're in El Haloof. Well, I think that's one of them Arab words for uh, the Middle East or something. So anyway, we're gonna take our little self-propelled gun. We're gonna go up there on the top of the hill over there. And then we're gonna use our proper abilities to call down 87 millimeter fire down on our enemy and that's going to make victory that much easier for our team and for great britain all right so let's get on up there as you can see with all the mites i got i got a little cursor there that says i have an 11.5 second reload time i've got 100 high explosive shells man this thing's got so many shells this thing's got enough shells to fill a pantry 
That's what it's got. Oh my gosh, they're spotting the enemy light tanks already. Our light tanks are going over there. Hell, I might as well just stop my old uh, self-propelled gun. See if I can find the enemy. And take a shot at him. Alright, here we go. AMX 40. Let's take a shot. I don't think we hit. I think we blew up that bush. I think there's probably some squirrel in that bush that's getting mighty angry at us. But, you know, hey, he's dead now. We don't gotta worry about that. Um, let me see. What's going on over here? We got a chi -ha. That, I think, is one of them, uh, Chinese tanks. Although, it might have been a Japanese tank originally. You know, but hey, we are in the Pacific after all. We're here in El Haloof. So, you know, that's something different. Alright, we got a DW2. I don't know what that stands for, but it's a Nazi tank, so I'm gonna blow it up. I, oh, oh, looks like our shot hit just shallow there. That's kind of unfortunate. Let me take a closer look. Hold on, I'm aiming. You see my little aiming circles getting smaller? So I'm about to shoot that filler. Oh, shoot, I missed again. Man, I really gotta get some more training down at the range. My fellers can't seem to hit anything. Come on, let's give it another shot. They might still be there. No, I don't think they're there no more. Alright, well, things ain't going too good for Great Britain. We already lost five tanks, and they only lost one. Now, I'm, I'm kind of a little worried. Oh, 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 hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Oh, shoot, I missed again. Oh, don't you go driving away now. I want to blow you up in my gun. Don't you go nowhere. Don't you go nowhere. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, she Oh, oh, he got away. Uh, uh, Matilda. Oh, man, they're even using our own Matildas against us. Them Nazis. I, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what the world is coming to when Nazis are using our vehicles. I mean, this is just... Ridiculous. Oh man, now we got a Stuart that's about to attack our base. And frankly, I had enough of that crap. I'm going to load a gold shell. And as you can see here, it's a high Armor Pearson T. I think AP Tracer is what that means, but I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to drive over there and shoot him in the face. Because, you know, oh shit, unless I get shot first, then I'll just freaking die. Anyway. Let's give this a shot, aren't we? Are we? Here we go. Oh, shoot, we missed. And everybody knows that I got a long, long reload time ahead of me. And we just got blown up. Well, that's about usual what you can expect from, uh, you know, Gomer and his crew. But, you know, I kind of have feel that maybe our team ain't but letting us down just a touch. So what I figure is we'll just cut on on to the next battle. All right, everybody, I'll see you soon. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here at the mines. All right, so we ought to be able to do something. This is a tier five match. We're going to probably settle on down on our base because, you know, we don't want to get too close to our enemy. Hell, we might get shot like we did on the previous two occasions. As you can see here, Gomer really isn't too good about being a self-propelled gun commander I mean he doesn't have that much experience he's got some smarts but you know he's all right he's all right anyway let's get on going now let's get our 87 millimeter uh, way on back there in the bushes along with this here M7 priest and uh, let's take a few shots of some of our enemies We got it really back here with us. Ain't that nice? All right, let's get on aiming now. Oh my goodness! Look at that BT7. Look at him trying to move on into position there. Now yeah, let's shoot at him. Oh shoot! Wow, that nearly hit that filler. I probably shouldn't shoot too on close there to my allies, cause he nearly got a taste of my shield. Oh, damn. Um, I, know, I guess we seems pretty quiet so far. We got one of the scouts coming in. All right, here we go. We got a T-34. I don't know how them Nazis stole one of them, but we're going to make sure he don't do nothing. All right, hold on still now. Hold on still. Critical hit. There we go. Critical hit. Six to six damage. Oh, shoot. He just blew up. 
Alright, let's see if there are any panzers around there. Oh, yeah, I've got a panzer three over there. Oh, I can't quite aim at him. Oh, we got an M7. Let's take a shot at him. Oh, just over his head. Alright, we got an 11 and a half second reload time, which ain't that long. Ain't that long. Let's take another, uh, give it a second there. Ooh, we got ourselves an M8 a one over there. Let's take a shot at him. Oh, just over his head. That's what you get when you're taking a snapshot. You're not focusing on any specific area. Anyway. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Come on, man. Come on, man. Where are you going? Where are you going? Take a shot. Oh, shoot. That was all hit mighty short. Mighty short. Oh, this TV one, he's struggling. He's struggling. Oh, yeah, we just gotta take the shot. Hopefully, it won't hit a house. Oh, we hit a house. Oh, we definitely hit a house there. Oh, but he got his, man. He got his. Alright, got an M4 hiding in the town. We got an M7 hiding over there. Man, this is getting kinda. We need to do something. Alright, let's look for enemy artillery. Because we know they got some. They got a Sturm Panzer. And a gorilla. Now they could be over here. Or they could be over there as well. There's a stug over down there. Let's just look for them tracers. I don't see any. You see any tracers? I don't see any tracers. Ah, oh, well, it then looks like I ain't gonna get a shot at them. Let's help out, try to blow up. Oh, never mind them. You see the little tank spirit flying away when he gets blown up? It's a function of one of them mods, too. Oh, man, I don't know where all this rock music started coming from, but there it is. Like somebody just put on the doors. Which hadn't even really come out yet as a band, but hey, whatever. Here we are. Oh, apparently I think there's a stug over there. Hold on, we got a Matilda. Matilda right in the middle there. Let's take a shot at him. Here we go. Alright, I think we hit a mountain. And mangy mountains getting in our way again. Where do we have a shot? I got one over there. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh man, that Matilda, he just gotta go forward and we can shoot at him. But he ain't doing that. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. He's calling for help. We'll help him, provided he actually gets the enemy to go where somewhere where we can shoot him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, he, I can't shoot at him, but I can shoot at that T-49 over there. Let's just do it. Shoot him. Oh, just over his head. Nice and lined up, but just over his head. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to take a quick shot at him. Alright, we know he's right over there. Just behind this rock. God damn rocks. Why are these rocks everywhere? I swear he can't shoot nothing these days. Holy snack, we got a freaking M4 in our base. M4 Sherman, man. I don't know how the Nazis got one of those. Bam! Take that, sucker. Take that. Oh, now he's probably gonna shoot us. And that ain't no good. Oh, shoot. Now we're getting shot at by another enemy tank. Hold on, hold on. Oh, damn. We got exploded. Hey, I just noticed something, fellers. We lost again. Hmm. Well, there's really only something I can take away from this. In that the military career of Gomer Pyle and the British Army during WW2 was not a spectacularly successful one. Which, uh, kind of unfortunate. You know, maybe Gomer could have uh, been a bit more better educated. Maybe Gomer could have been joined a more successful army. Either way, though, he didn't have too much luck. Hell, all there was left was his old, old petty, his old buddy Cletus over here in the Wolverine, just kind of sitting off on the bushes, looking out over the ocean and thinking, "Man, this sucks so much. I'm gonna drive off this cliff, track myself, and then get blown up by that stug." That's what I was thinking of doing. Well, you know, that was the fate of Gomer Pyle there in the British Army. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. 
Now, as you can see, the Sexton is a decent little tier 3 self propelled gun, and Gomer Pyle did not command it well. And all that sad music you're hearing, oh, 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 oh that's, that's what that's talking about. Anyway, thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a good day. And remember, give peace a chance. Bye-bye now.